Zdravím všetkých. Dnes ideme z Bratislava do Banská Bystrica. Hello everyone! Today we're going from Bratislava to Banska Bystrica. So Banska Bystrica it is uh, one of the eight large cities in Slovakia and it is the sixth largest with about 76,000 citizens in the city. Right now I'm gonna have to get to Hlavna Stanica and I don't have too much time so let's go ahead and just get into the video and wait at the bus stop get to the train station and get on board and then we're gonna check out Banska Bystrica. Let's go! Today we're going to be getting on bus 71. Um, our starting point is the bus stop Rachianske Mito, and it should be a fairly short bus ride to get to the train station. So, let's get on the bus. Now that we're here at Club Nastanica, um, I need to go figure out which train I'm going to be getting on because um, it's leaving in just a few minutes. So let's get inside quickly and figure out which platform to go to. So it looks like we have to get to platform three, so let's go ahead and head that way. Gotta go down the stairs quick, we only have a couple minutes. We have a few minutes, I think we'll be fine, but still. Thank <laughs> you. 
well, I never thought that this would happen. I actually have one of these rooms completely to myself for a moment. Um, I actually was uh, on one train uh, that went to the city, Vrutki, and then from Vrutki got onto another train that's now going to Banska Bistrica. And um, this time for this trip, I did purchase um, tickets that had reservations, but on the first train, I saw like an older couple and one of them was like an older lady sitting in the spot that was supposed to be mine. So I just kind of was in the hallway for that. But I wanted to show you like what these like rooms or these booths look like. Like you have, uh, you can control how much air conditioning there is. This is for lights and this is how loud the, um, the speakers are. Um, but look how cool it is. Like, you know, here's people outside. We are in Martin. Um, but there's like a little trash here. There's like USB plugs somewhere. And it overall is just a very calm and cool experience in these booths. Well, here we are. Well, here we are in Banska Bistrica. Now, I haven't been to this city before, and I don't know exactly where, you know, the Pescia Zona is, like, meaning, like, the uh, pedestrian zone or the main square, or where all the um, sightseeing is supposed to be. Um, but I think we're gonna go ahead and pick a direction to walk in, and I kinda, like, briefly looked um, on Google Maps, uh, what might be a good direction to go. So we're gonna head this way and see what we can find. Um, I see that there are a lot of buses here. I mean, that's typical for buses to be outside of like, the train stations, but I do have to say that the uh, facade of the train station here, it looks quite nice. Like it has um, uh, kind of like glass artwork uh, in the front and it uh, almost looks like it's uh, biblical. I mean, maybe it might be tough to spot on the camera from here, but um, Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and walk around and uh, see what we can find in the city of Vatska Bistrica <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit about the train ride over here. So um, if you can see on a map, uh, Banska Bistrica, it's pretty much is in the center of Slovakia. And um, to the north is the, uh, the Tatra Mountains. So it made it so that when we were on our way over here, uh, when you would look out the window, there was just nothing but trees and nature and like trees on hillsides and like forests. And it was very, very nice. It was very cool. It seems like, um, uh, a part of Slovakia where it's uh, very much surrounded by nature and I mean that is much of uh, central Slovakia. It can be very mountainous and surrounded by forests and nature. Oh wow, so this is very cool. So um, I am uh, stopping inside of like a shopping center just to use the bathroom for a moment. But um, I'm currently working on another video where I'm going to be talking about, well, these. It's these cheese vending machines and this is like a different brand from what is in Bratislava but you can see the different types of cheeses like that's a normal white cheese uh, this has gyros and that's just like herbs and then all this like Slovak cheese that is available just in a vending machine so um, I have a video in the works that's going to be specifically on the ones in Bratislava so stay tuned for that then of course it's always common to see the coffee vending machines where you can get an instant coffee to go as well as thank you for visit 
Oh, Jesus Maria, look at the pretty little flowers. So far, it's feeling like quite an urban city. It doesn't feel small at all. Um, coming through an underground walkway. It seems like there's quite a bit of life in this city. And I guess what I mean by that is like, I don't know, so some of the cities, especially smaller towns in Slovakia, um, it seems like the population is uh, more elderly. And um, here, I don't know, there's like a lot of like young people still like going, or, going around doing their thing. So um, hopefully we're getting closer to the uh, city center and eventually we're gonna wanna get something to drink and something to eat and um, just try and see if we can find any, uh, any landmarks. So let's continue onward. Well, up ahead, I think we found our first landmark and off in the distance there is the uh, Museum of the National Slovak Uprising. And from outside, it looks quite interesting. So let's go ahead and check it out. I don't know if it normally looks like this, but you can see how there's all these stores here and only one gentleman outside at the moment. So it seems a little dead, like electronic stores and the like, but doesn't really seem to be too many people walking in this area. Hmm. Well, I think these are the steps for the Slovak Rocky. <laughs> Well, this is very, very cool. Um, now, if you look at the buses, you'll notice that they are uh, different colors from the, uh, they have a different color scheme compared to the ones in Bratislava. They are uh, white and red. And it's very cool because oftentimes at the um, bus stations and stops and things like that, they've got like little shops like this. Like over here, you can get like coffee and some biscuits. And then here is just is local fruits. Like they're just selling fruits, which is kind of cool. Um, and then also, I'm not, I'm not sure if I've said this in a previous video or not, but um, Turkish food, like kebabs, are extremely popular here in Slovakia. And I would say like if like the most popular second culture food in California is like Mexican food and burritos. Then in Slovakia, it is definitely Turkish food and kebabs. Like it's probably the most popular street food that you can get when you come here. Over on the left hand side looks like some kind of market. And then it really looks like the street tightens up here. And I'm guessing that there's going to be more of like a walking area. I really think it's super cool, like how uh, the buildings look, the overall architecture and just how kind of like close everything is to one another. Like you can see like the, the paint on this building in front of us, uh, kind of like an off white and then yellow or goldish colors. And just the overall style, it's like very cool. I like how the buildings have uh, all this character to them. Looks like something of a uh, farmer's market too. Lots of uh, fresh fruit and vegetables with a little pekaren right next door, which is pretty neat. Now I'm really starting to like uh, the area that we're walking through. Um, just like look how tight the road is and look at all the colors on the buildings. It looks very cool. Um, then that's going down some way too, but you'll see like a lot of hallways like this um, and alleyways rather uh, in, in like these kind of more densely populated cities in Slovakia. Um, 
just really, it, it, it's so cool, but it's also so weird because you'll see things like this where it's like kind of a densely populated area. There's a lot of life going on, but there's like, there can often be just like not, not abandoned places, but like closed businesses and things like that right next to like very active places. So it's not really like, I don't know, it's just kind of odd that there can be like these pretty frequently closed businesses in the middle of like a busy bustling area. Vino Heinz? Like wine by Heinz? See like here's more, there's more what looks to be like abandoned businesses, which is strange. <laughs> There's a couple of gypsy ladies behind me. Uh oh. <laughs> this is so odd. There's like a fr front gate and like a front lawn for this business. That's just so weird and so cool. And then even like when you look at these older buildings, um, I think it's a little unfortunate that there's like some graffiti on the building, but like look at the artwork on it. This uh, doesn't look like it was like the most like well taken care of over the years, but it still like looks nice and kind of has character. And it really looks like we are now approaching the uh, the main square, the Pesce Zona of Banska Bistrinca. <laughs> and this here is some kind of government building, I think, but like just look at that, like the orange and white. That is so very cool, I think. Now this is quite something. Um, so notice how there's like two streets. I'm in the middle of this park and there's like two streets that converge over up ahead. And then just take a look at all the buildings around. Like look how colorful uh, this looks. It almost um, like, you know, this, this isn't something that you really see in the States so often is like buildings that are just like, you know, having so much color to them like this and you can see how it's all like kind of worn out and hasn't been painted in quite some time. It's very cool, I think. I'm thinking soon we should get something to eat but definitely at least something to drink. So we're gonna go ahead and walk around in this area for a little bit and see what there is. Here there's Greek street food but we should get something that's Slovak. I mean, we're in Slovakia so why wouldn't we wanna get the local food here? Right behind me is um, uh, Slovenska Pošta, and that is basically the uh, national um, like mail service, like post postal service in Slovakia. But um, right next to the post office is actually a very beautiful church. Um, I like the tones. Again, the architecture in Slovakia and like and in Europe is just really beautiful. I'd say. Um, I'm not exactly sure why there's a lullaby playing from the church. It's not 3 p.m., so I'm not sure why it's playing, but maybe it's like, I don't know, a moment. Maybe is it like nap time or something? I'm not sure. But this sounds nice, maybe. Hmm? Okay, I did not expect this. There's like a little uh, town train. Maybe it's like, it's supposed to be a tour or maybe it's like a legit casual way to get around the city. Not totally sure, but this is, uh, this is kind of cool. This um, reminds me of the times when I was a kid in a mall in the States and uh, there would be like a train going around the mall. And uh, just so you know, like that does happen here too. Occasionally, if you're in a larger mall, you may see like a tiny train, like, you know, for kids <laughs> going around the mall. So this is, Still a tiny train, 
not like life life sized, but instead of just for children, this is for adults as well. All right, here goes the train. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> well, that was kind of fun. Uh, a bunch of people just went on like a lo little train going around town. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, now we are in like the main square, the Pescia Zona, the, the downtown of um, Banska Bistrica. And if you've been watching these videos, like I, how I've been visiting like the eight largest cities in Slovakia, um, I feel like every city that we've been to, the, uh, the downtown zones have been getting progressively better and better. And like, I have to say again, I feel like this is probably the best one so far. I mean. I think, uh, what was it? I think Trenčín, if that's the one I'm thinking of. That one was really good too, but like, look at this. Look at this. Like, that's just, it's like really spacious and open. Uh, a lot of people walking around, like tons of like, you know, cafes, restaurants and whatnot uh, on the sides. Um, there's like a little cool down mist station over here. Again, more of the buildings um, that are very colorful, you know, something that I like. Um, and you'll see that there's uh, well-maintained, like, uh, flowers here on the poles. And I've seen them before in Bratislava where uh, they'll have, like, some city workers come by on a truck. And I think they do it, like, kind of in the morning, typically, but uh, they'll come by on a truck and they put their hose up there and they water these flowers. So it's kind of cool how they, like, you know, do ma maintain the city and like the, the beauty of the city. But uh, here you can see like the fountain, which is nice. Um, I see people having ice cream. I don't want to like shove the camera in their face, but they're enjoying some ice cream. And um, I don't know what that is up there. It says uh, prehistory na prenayom. So I don't know what prehistory is, but I know that it uh, na prenayom is like for rent. So that place up there, the balcony is for rents, I think, yes. Or no, up top there. Anyway, yeah, it's a very cool area. Here, I'll just show you a bit more of what it looks like. And I almost forgot to mention that there is a uh, clock tower at the head of Pescia Zona. Pretty soon here, um, I'm thinking we should uh, stop and get something to eat and drink. Um, I'm actually getting fairly hungry now, so I'm sure we'll find something in the area. Uh, let's get some kind of traditional Slovak food. Let's take a brief moment though to walk through the mist. <laughs> How relaxing. <laughs> Well, it's called Slovenska Restauracja a Pivaren, which is meaning Slovak restaurant and bar. So let's go ahead. Dobry den. Um, uh, Mozim po prosit a uh, velke pivo, prosim. Oh, jedenas po dvanastu. Um, uh, prva, prosim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, real. That, something. All right, so we're here at a Slovak restaurant. I just ordered myself a large beer. Uh, let's take a look at the menu. All right, so here's the Slovak restaurant's menu. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it, and you can see the prices of things. So this first section is soups. Then uh, I think this is saying dinner menu and traditional Slovenska yellow, so traditional Slovak dishes. So, uh, um, everyone knows that, like potato dumplings with brinza sheep's cheese and roasted bacon. Now, this I haven't heard of. Trapački, halushki sa kapusto a slanino. Potato dumplings with sauerkraut and roasted bacon. That sounds very good. 
Um, okay, this one's very long. Um, unas ručne vyrabane brin brinzove pierohi se opraženou slaninou, cibolou, a uh, kyslou smotanou. So, um, perohi or perogi or peroshki. Uh, it, it's kind of called a few different things between like the Slavic languages. That's like the little, um, kind of like, like, like the dumplings that are like, you know, filled with meat or like veggies in them. So sheep's cheese, uh, brings are filled dumplings with bacon, onion, and sour cream. So look at that. Got ourselves a nice big beer. Let's take a moment to have a sip of this. It's always tasty. Um, I know that Czechs and Slovaks are very big about the foam <laughs> on top. Like if the beer is more foam, it's uh, tastier or something. I, I think it's good too, but just the beer in Slovakia and Czech Republic is very good, very good. Okay, so um, I don't think we're gonna be able to go through every single little thing on this menu, but here's uh, pork meat. And there is a lot that they offer. So just taking a look at the prices. Ooh, that sounds good. Chernohorsky resin. Man, all this sounds really good. Mm hmm but chicken, you can't go wrong with chicken, honestly. Fried cheese, Sergi cheese. Fried cheese. Encian, it's a different type of cheese. Another type of cheese. Oh wow, this place is really good. Then they even have some salads. <laughs> Only a few salads. Some desserts. Uh, and then some burgers and side dishes. And what on the back? Probably just wine and beer and da da da. Yeah. Dobra. Okay. I feel like I want chicken, but... Alright, so I think I've decided uh, what I'm gonna get. Aha. Um, Mojim poprosit, um... Uh... Kuracija steak, uh... Zapečeni? Mm-hmm. Uh, toto. Uh, a tiež, um... A varne zemjake s maslom. A tiež, uh... Tatarska. Dobre. Četko, jako? So? Uh, that was everything. So a brief summary of, of what I'm getting. So I'm gonna get this uh, chicken steak with spinach, cheese, and Schwarzwald ham. And then with the side of uh, the classic Slovak uh, boiled potatoes with butter. Like obviously there are many other um, type of, you know, potato dishes you can get like roast potatoes, french fries, mashed potatoes, and more. But the boiled potatoes with butter are the most like authentic and traditional and classic uh, and then also some not ketchup but tartar sauce tatarska omachka so for the believers and dreamers of someday having czechoslovakia once again become a country for the unification of the two brother countries i salute to you with a beer nazdravia velmi hutni pivo Well, here's beer number two. Um, I think I'm gonna have to quit ordering things because I a don't want to get too drunk and I b don't want to spend so much, <laughs> so so much money. Um, but yeah, I can feel that the food's gonna be here momentarily. All right. Well, the food has arrived. Uh, so take a look at this. This looks really freaking good. So here we have our classic Slovak uh, boiled potatoes. Some kind of small salad. Again, uh, I've mentioned in previous videos that the salads are very small, and you can see here that it's very small. And then this is some kind of like chicken steak with like spinach, cheese, and ham on top. And then Tatarska Omachka, AKA tartar sauce. So this looks really freaking good. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Okay, let's, uh, let's just cut right into it. So first let's try the potato. So here, potato. Very good. Classic Slovak uh, boiled and buttered potatoes. Mm hmm Very buttery on the outside. Um, soft on the outside, and not like hard on the inside, but like a little tough on the inside, which I kind of like. As for the salad, looks like it's a uh, cucumber, lettuce, tomato, drenched in like olive oil and herbs looking very good 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. It tastes very clean, very fresh. I like it, I like it. Now, as for the main course, the main part of the dish is this chicken steak with spinach, cheese, and ham on it. Like, let's go ahead and cut into this. Oh wow. Okay, this is kinda tough to cut. Let's see if we can get some of the ham cut off. This looks pretty solid, pretty solid. Now, would you look at that? Chicken, spinach, cheese, and ham. Let's dive right in. Mm-hmm, oh wow. That is crazy good. That is excellent. Extremely tasty. Velmi hutni. Holy crap, this dish is really good. What's this called again? This dish is called Korazi stick zapeceni zo spenatom serum uh schwarzwaldolsko shunko and it is excellent um i've never had specifically this dish like chicken prepared in this specific way i'm assuming that this is like just like n not as popular of a chicken dish but it's very very tasty i mean it was the first thing on the chicken part of the menu so very 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 good Gotta put some tartar sauce on the potato, why not? Now, these videos aren't specifically food reviews or just videos of me just, you know, sitting and eating, but um, I can say that this is extremely tasty. This is like one of the better meals that I've had on uh, these trips. And it is just so freaking good. Like this cold salad, uh, the potatoes, the chicken with spinach, cheese, and ham on top, and tartar sauce, and another big beer. Um, I'm gonna say it's like a solid like nine out of 10. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this, and then we will continue onward with Banska Bistrica. Well, I've just paid, and I finished that food and two beers, and I gotta say, it was very delicious, uh, but I don't often drink and I don't often uh, eat that much in one sitting. So I um, can really feel all that food and the beer like inside me. Um, I usually eat kind of light, like if I'm on my own. So uh, that was kind of, it was definitely nice to indulge for a moment. Um, but now we need to continue onward with uh, the video and with visiting Banska Bistritza. Um, so we're, we're still in the Pescia Zona of Vanska Bistrica and we're gonna keep going forward and see what else we can find. Um, hopefully there's gonna be more to show you, more landmarks or just more of like the beautiful uh, architecture that you can see that is typical to Slovakia. Anyways, without further ado, let's continue. And here is a Tatrabanka branch. That is one of the uh, banks in Slovakia. That is uh, actually the bank that I have here. Um, there wasn't too much depth to my choice of which bank to go with, simply other than the fact that the branding was black and it looked cool because they don't have any credit unions at all in Slovakia. If there were any credit unions, I would have chosen that, but there's only banks, so. Now here's just a uh, secondhand thrift store, and you can see that they have uh, shirts. Uh, trička means shirts for three euros. And then it says rifle for five euros. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, <laughs> I, I know it doesn't mean like a gun, a rifle, but maybe someone, a Slovak in the comments section can let me know what rifle is meaning in Slovak because um, that just sounds like the English word rifle, meaning a type of gun. So let everyone else know, please. Well, now it's seeming that once you continue down that street that we were just on, uh, we were in like the 
maybe uh, Pescia Zona, but maybe like the Stade Mesto, like Old Town area of Banska Bistrica. And we're kind of coming to this point where we're transitioning out of it. And it looks like we're coming more into, maybe this is New Town, or maybe this is just, um, you know, the more modern part of uh, like the downtown area of this city. But you can see um, the style of the buildings is changing. It is more, uh, has more of a modern look to it. And again, you can see in the background, like, wow, look at that. There's the, um, there is a mountain that is just completely covered with trees. So that is some, some forest right there. Um, but this city is completely surrounded by um, uh, nature and forests and mountains and rivers, like small rivers and uh, like hiking spots and resorts and things like that. So this, this city, it's kind of um, in like a sort of like canyon or like a valley almost. And there's just a ton of nature around like this area. Cause like I said earlier, this is um, in central Slovakia and to the north of here are the uh, high and low Tatras, just the general like Tatra mountains. So um, I imagine the people that live in this city, they probably have very easy access to like the Tatra mountains and like they probably go on vacations a lot in the summers and winters. So um, we're gonna go ahead and keep walking around for now and see what else there is, but it is definitely, like, as you look around, definitely getting more modern and, like, we're stepping out of the Stade Mesto area. So we're walking ahead, and, um, well, here we see a mall, and I saw this uh, being mentioned on, like, some website that was talking about, like, the uh, different things to check out when you come here, and it is just called Europa. So if you want to pronounce it with an American accent, Europa, but it just means Europe, but, um, this was supposed to be, I think, like the biggest mall here or something like that. And um, I guess part of the significance is just uh, in contrast with like malls and mall culture in the States, or at least my part of the States, uh, Northern California, um, it felt like uh, malls in like medium to smaller size cities are like pretty dead. Um, Cause like the last few times that I went, there was like hardly any people a lot of um, shops and stores were like starting to close. And even like one of the last times, like not the last time, but last within the last couple times that I'd been to a mall in the States, um, like before I even got into the place, there was, I'm not joking, like eight to like 10 guys who like ran out of the front and they were just fighting each other. And half the guys had blue shirts and the other half had red shirts. So it was obviously like a gang fight and they were just like swearing at each other. And it was just, um, it was kind of a ridiculous moment, but I was just like, hot damn, like, that's part of the reason why mall culture in, in the States is like dying. It's because of like gangs and like sketchy people hanging out at malls and things like that. So um, thankfully that doesn't really seem to happen here so much. Well, finally, the sky's starting to clear up. Um, something that I wanted to mention earlier in the video but didn't is that uh, maybe I didn't pick the very best day to come out here to Banska Bistrica because it's been fairly overcast the whole day. But now the sky is kind of clearing up a bit. It still is cloudy. Um, honestly, I thought it was gonna rain a bit earlier, but it kind of sprinkled for a moment, but it didn't really rain. Um, but. Uh, this seems like we're definitely leaving um, like the downtown area now for sure. But there was a couple of things that I saw online that were in this direction. So I kind of wanted to come into this uh, less, you know, des densely populated area. Cause I feel like I can, um, I don't know, also speak a, a bit more comfortably, but also like to again, illustrate how the city is surrounded by nature like again look at the mountainside that is just a complete forest like is covered with trees and then like over there there's like some highway or some busy street and then next to it is like you know 
buildings like this covered in graffiti. I think this might be another shopping center. There's, like, there's a lot of shopping centers in the cities here in, in Slovakia. Like it's kind of filled with them. And then again, another great example of like right next to densely populated, like active places, you have buildings and places that look completely like this, like, like the, not only is this like abandoned, but this looks like it is in a state of decay, like, or disarray or something. Uh, like it's like they're working on like tearing it down or something and rebuilding it. I mean, I mean, maybe not the whole thing or they're just taking their time, but this does not look very well kept. <laughs> um, yeah, closed stores long have been closed. Uh, maybe inside it's like a parking garage or something, but. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is definitely an abandoned parking garage. Eventually, though, towards the end of summer, once we complete the series of visiting the eight large cities of Slovakia, um, I'm kind of wanting to continue, but in a different direction. Like I was a fan back in the States, a bit here and there of uh, urban exploration. And I know there's gotta be some great like abandoned like areas, like maybe um, old war like outposts, like maybe like Soviet outposts or something. Uh, maybe like factories or like apartment complexes or buildings or like just anything like that. Uh, I know that this country is going to be littered with things like that. So once we're done doing all these uh, kind of first impression city videos, we got to get into some urban exploration. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But uh, again, for now, um, let me go and find where uh, the places that I wanted to show you next. So let's head that way. It seems like I've stumbled upon um, a very nice park uh, on the way to our next destination. Um, this is very cool because uh, this is so close to the city, honestly. And um, yeah, like I was saying earlier, I feel like the citizens of the city, like they have very easy access to nature. And I know this, you know, this is a small park kind of you know next to like apartment buildings and things like that this isn't like a great big big park but this feels like fairly naturey um for kind of a small like city park like it's kind of interesting and here we're coming up upon one of the last few things that i wanted to show you this is the Kastiel radvanski and this is uh some kind of old mansion that according to the Google Maps comments is supposed to be um, under reconstruction or a remodeling. So as something like that goes in Slovakia, like if it's a reconstruction, rebuilding, remodeling, anything like that, um, I've noticed that those types of things tend to take a very long time to get finished in this country. And my assumption is that that is because of bureaucracy and perhaps like funds too, but I'm guessing it's because more of like bureaucracy and um, the cities and mu municipalities trying to uh, best judge how they can allocate funds and resources and time into what projects. So maybe this is something of like a side project for Banska Bistrica to handle and deal with, but. Well, now we are very close to the final landmark that I wanted to show you today. I thought it was going to be a lot easier to see because uh, based off of the pictures from the internet, uh, it's not so covered in trees, but um, here is a museum here. And I thought it would be kind of interesting to show you because of the, uh, the shape of the front of it, like the, might be kind of difficult 
But I was thinking based on the photos, I'll put some on screen now, that it looks something like the Slovak Alamo. It just kind of has that shape to it. So maybe we'll, we can get a better look from right here. But the style that is on the roof uh, part of the building, it's kind of in a very similar shape to the, uh, to, to the Alamo. I think for now, I'm going to have to start heading back uh, actually to the train station to head back to Bratislava because I just checked the uh, the train times and the last train that leaves Banska Bistrica going to Bratislava before it would take like overnight uh, leaves in about an hour. So I'm going to have to conclude the video now, but there was quite a few things that we saw uh, today in Banska Bistrica and um, I guess like the main thing that I'm wanting to see and to show you when we are doing these city trip videos are the uh, like the Pescia Zonas or the Stadamestos or the you know like the main squares of these cities. Um, that's like kind of the best place to get like you know your first impression of a place. But um, while I was on this trip I was thinking you know at the end of all these city trip videos I think I will do one video that's kind of rating all of these different cities and um i'll get into more detail like in that video obviously but about how we're going to be rating them but uh i think that would be kind of a fun one to do because i think that banska bistrica was probably like one of my favorite so far and i feel like if you've be been watching these videos in order that they came out in maybe at the end of the vid each of them like i, I kind of say that same thing i say oh this one was better than the last but I feel like it has been true. Uh, these cities have been getting better and better. And um, I would say that Banska Bistrica was quite comparable to Trenčín. I really liked Trenčín and that was like a fun uh, city to, to go to. That was a fun trip. So um, if this is your first time watching uh, this channel or watching these videos, um, definitely go ahead onto my channel, uh, go under playlists and you'll see you know, I've got playlists of other types of videos, but you'll see a playlist specifically for these uh, city trip videos. These are kind of like the biggest, longest videos that I currently do. And, um, well, they are a lot of fun to do because I get to share uh, the different cities of Slovakia with you. You get to see a bit of like the downtown areas of Slovakia as well as like maybe a bit of the suburbs. And you can see that a lot of the cities are just surrounded by nature. So it's very cool. So anyways, um, I'm going to be heading back to the train station for now. I've got to get there in like under an hour, but that should be okay. And um, if you enjoy these videos, like please let me know down in the comments. And if you want to give the video a like, you can. And if you want to see more videos like this and more videos about, uh, you know, my experience here as an American in Slovakia, uh, then you can feel free to subscribe. So um, I definitely have like plans for a lot of other types of videos too. It's just been um, a little difficult here and there to to get everything on a uh, a uh, quick and tidy like a neat schedule. But I am uh, definitely like working on getting more videos out for you guys, and uh, definitely like more videos like this for the summer like we will definitely be completing um the city trip videos uh this summer because after this city i think we have four more left so we're kind of right in the middle of it but we've got four more left the last one should be easy um second to last one will should be very fun but that'll be a long one so anyways um thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and well, I will see you in the next video. Peace.